Hello, everybody. Can you hear me? There's something going on here again. Oh, my God. Uh, hold on. What is going on? Okay. Right. Um, I think you can hear me. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can. Welcome to the Tarda Zone. Uh, sorry about that. I don't know what it is. Every time I set this camera up, the the the, the laptop goes bloody crazy. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to invest in a new bloody laptop sooner than later. I mean, the wife has been telling, banging on about getting a new laptop, like, and I haven't even bought it. Um, but I think uh, we're gonna need one now. Anyway, uh, let's see if the camera works now. Probably not. Oh, there we go. So we're here. Okay, yeah. Well, uh, we're here for Brotherhood. Uh, that wasn't the intro that I wanted to give, but there you go. Uh, we're here for Brotherhood, and then we've got some special guests joining us uh, tonight. So without further ado, I'll just bring them on. That was crap. That was a crap intro. I'm sorry about that, but there you go. It happens. It happens. Our first guest is on the only problem. Hello. He ever comes on. Hey, you're 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 glitching all over the place there. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I don't know what's happening. Right. But yeah, yeah there we go. We've got we've got you, yeah. and we've got our very special guest, the one and only Noel Clark. Hey, how are you? Yeah, hi. Hello, mate. Yeah, I'm alright. Thanks for showing the the movie. Good, it's good, good. Right, I thought if this keeps glitching, right, let me know. I might have to remove the camera, but hopefully it'll settle down now. Um, but as I said, we're here to watch uh, Noel Clark's movie, Brotherhood, uh, The Last of the Hood trilogy. Uh, so yeah. uh, I've put the links. Actually, I should put my banner up as well that I have. Uh, so there we go. Here's the banner. So the links to all of Noel Clark's social medias are in the link description. Also, if you want to buy or rent the movie on YouTube, the link description is in there as well apparently youtube does this movie but didn't do the last movie for some weird reason so there you It'll go but it's there i don't know oh uh, no yeah to, on different platforms but uh yeah it's there to buy or rent or if you have your dvd or your blu-ray copy get it into your uh your dvd or blu-ray or whatever but into your slot and uh we'll get going we'll get going um so no before we start is there anything do you want to kind of set this movie up before we uh we start uh, how it came about uh doing the yeah. third movie? Sure. I mean, it was um, basically I never intended to do a third movie. I never intended to do a second movie. Um, but right. you know, as as time went on, I sort of realised that you know, you know, as I was getting older, I view things differently. I see things differently and, you know, I had children and I just thought, you know, I know, I know a lot of people that have done, you know, have been inside and all sorts of things and yeah, they've come out and they're working, they got kids. And I was just like, life, life is people change, you know, life is, life is odd. And so I wanted to, that was what the film was about showing this guy who at 19 in the first film was so bad came out of jail in the second film and mm. had a pretty horrible day. And this is 10 years after the second film. So what yeah. would be considered 16 and a half years after the first film, 10 years after the second film, and just seeing if you give that 19-year-old kids and you put him in this situation, how is he going to react and what's the world like today? And that was kind of what the film was really, what this film was really about. Fantastic, man. Fantastic. Yeah, well, I mean, look, kids do change, don't they? I mean, I have a daughter myself, so I know what it's like. You look at the world completely differently than when you have 100%. your own kids. Like, it's 100%. Uh, it's mad. Then you realise what your parents were banging on about, you know, because you're always, 100%. like, kind of complaining about your parents. Yeah. And then when you become a parent yourself, then then you kind of, in their mindset, you understand where they're coming yeah, from. Yeah, I think, yeah, exactly. And it's not just parents either. It's like you, so, you suddenly don't have time for, like, bullshit or, or to be mm. evil to, to, to people or whatever like that. You kind of, it puts everything else in perspective. But, you know, some people clearly haven't experienced that in their lives. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. all right. Right, well, That's we'll good. see if everybody in the chat 
is ready so we can get this going so if everybody in the chat wants to do the usual you know what to do press one if you're already and uh we'll get lee to do the countdown and then we'll get going with the movie all right yeah right, uh, we got gobby guy in the chat i'll just do a few shout outs while we're waiting so we got gobby guy in the chat yeah uh, we got in the chat real super doctor uh, Tardis Time, uh, Chris Persia, Nicholas Horton, uh, the classic 80s fanboy. Uh, I love that mm-hmm. name. We got Lindsay in the chat as well. Uh, we got Adam in the chat. Uh, we got Scottish Stavros and friends wrestle with pop culture in the chat as well. Of course, Lee, who's with us on the panel tonight as well, is also keeping an eye on the chat. We got a lot of mods in the chat as well, uh, keeping an eye on everything as well. Yeah. So that's absolutely yeah. fantastic and i think everybody in the chat is ready so lee do you want right. to okay. do the honors my friend and i can't go on zero I'm, I'm or still... on one what are we what are we going hold on um we'll go on we'll go on uh go right okay bear with me too. Right. i'm just having technical problems myself obviously everybody see wanna... yeah i don't know me. Like the internet as stop, well seems to be <laughs> seems to be running it's slow as well weather. actually yeah. um which is mad. Just started snowing here, actually. Yeah, it snowed here. It snowed here two nights ago, and it's frozen over. So all the footpaths are all are all frozen. Like it's like we were out there earlier today. I might as well have been on ice skates, to be quite honest with you. It was that bad. <laughs> but uh, it's supposed to snow tonight. But so if it snows again tonight. It's sticking. So um, yeah, right. we might have a white Christmas. I don't mind that mm. personally. No I don't mind no it. Chance. No chance. <laughs> never yeah, happens. never snows on Christmas. <laughs> no, who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? It never <laughs> snows here at Christmas. Oh, I, uh, can I just uh, also, just today was um, Chris Boucher, who was uh, the last writer from the 70s era of Doctor Who passed away today. Um, yeah. He also sorta. wrote uh, Blake Seven as well. So mm. just uh, just a big shout out to, to him and uh, yeah. um, rest in peace and uh, lots of love to him and his family. They were obviously going through yeah. a difficult time at the moment. Just yeah, the that. actress from Heidi High also passed away as well. Actually, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. so that time of that, that so, season, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm good. Right. I'm ready to go. Right. Okay. We're ready to go. So we'll just uh, do this first, real quickly. Hello, Mrs. Hello. The Mrs. Right. <laughs> ready. Are we ready? Yes. Let's get ready. Let, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> okay. Five, four, three, two, two one, one. Go. Go. And we're off. Right. Someone's sound is bleeding through. Just be careful. We don't want to get hit with it. That's my sound, actually. So that'd be I'm ironic, wouldn't it? Getting a copyright strike from that. <laughs> Oh, no. I know. Oh, yeah. I want to sort it out. Well, it wouldn't. Be, well, it wouldn't actually be him. It'd be the yeah the distributors. <laughs> it happens. It happens. It's all it's good. Yeah. Yeah. So that was uh, my company, Unstoppable, which I no longer have, obviously. <laughs> yeah, tried it in. It's not right, you know. It's just not right. No, no, it's not. Rebuild. Rebuild. He shouldn't have to. Nice I'm just going to be out stray about it, but I'm just going to oh, say yeah. you shouldn't have to. Nobody should. Right, just right. remind what's happened in the last movie, and here we go. Hold on one second. What am I doing? Did I have my headphones in last time, or did I have them in the? Do I have them in the in the movie sound? I, I think I think you had them on the last time. I can go back and check the stream actually and see if you had he- yeah, headphones in, in your. Hold on, it won't take me a second. No, I definitely had headphones in. Anyway, well, look as you can see, look, you've got these new young kids here waiting for things to happen. You know, the, the new young kid sort of 
just waiting outside the club while and 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 that artist in there is 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 Fecky, and I wanted to really you know show a, an artist of the time that was there. Do you um when it comes to the soundtrack, what kind of involvement do you have? Um, yeah, I was involved in. I'm involved in the soundtrack a, a lot actually. Um, I kind of don't really listen to a lot of music. Uh, generally, like generally, I don't listen to a lot of music. But then, whenever I'm doing a film, I suddenly like immerse myself in, in music. Yeah. And this sort of shot here, this coming down with the crane, I've had this shot in my mind for like twenty years. Just sort of. Mm. I didn't know what I'd ever use it for, but I just had that shot in my mind for 20 years. That sort of coming down. <laughs> and considering it's you can realize it. Yeah, energetic film. I really wanted mm. to start it slowly like this with this this song. Yeah. There's an artist called Jamie Joseph. And I wanted to start it slowly and really make people go, okay, this is this is a different, different type of film. Do you know what I mean? It's more, it's more grown up, it's more kind of uh you know, okay, where's all the the mad music? I mean, we get there in a second, but you know, I wanted it to to show these characters have, have grown a little bit. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot that smoother. Really... Um, the, like the the camera work is a lot cleaner, isn't it? Like you, you. Well, I, I grew up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's very yeah, slick. That's the that's the truth of it. Yeah, it's very slick as well. I like, I like it, man. But your camera work, I mean, the, the other two movies, they're slick as well, I have to be honest. Um, by the way, you were wearing your earphones in your ear, little white ear. Oh, yeah, you have them on now, yeah. Yeah, I've got them now, sorted now. I've got this, the film. And, yeah, I grew up, man. Oh, like, shit. you know, I, I people... <laughs> Boom, and there you go. This is the kickoff of the story. Straight so, away. Think... No, not hanging about. <laughs> No, like this is what it's about. This is what people want to see. Uh, filmmaker wise, I wanted to start it with a bit of style, but you know, in terms of what the films are and the audience that they cater for, you kind of have to get into your action pretty quickly. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And I, you know, people, people, you know, I, I guess I'm not allowed to say this myself, but people don't really respect like uh, my filmmaking generally. They think like I just start fucking fall out the tree. And but, the, but that, but that's a bit of a. That's a bit, but I mean, you've been highly successful. I mean, you've you've went on, obviously. It doesn't give people respect but, it. Like, so this is my area. Sorry to interrupt you. This is the area that I grew up in, Lavert Grove, West, where all the films are set. You know, I wanted to show Sam being older and doing stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And my mum was actually on that train just then. You saw my old. Oh, my really? mom. Yeah. Oh, people wow. don't people don't really respect what what I've done. That that that's fact. I have a lot of supporters, which is is beautiful, and I, I love that. But in terms of, in terms of how the industry saw me, I was never really, was never really respected. And so these films are dismissed because they're working class movies, and because they're made mm. by someone who looks and sounds like me. Whereas actually, they're no less good than movies by certain really respected. Yeah, I get what you're There's saying. Lot, but yeah, the working class fans. movies you call them, we have them in Ireland as well. We do our own kind of working class. I, I get it, they're, they're, but they're more real because people like us can, you know, connect to those movies. So we know when, as you're telling your story through these movies, there's people out there that can relate to you, just like there'd be people that can relate to us when we tell our stories. It's, oh, it is but I can't, I can't believe that you're that disrespected in the in the <laughs> uh, not respected in the industry i have to be honest that's a bit of a shock i am so here, here's something interesting so those two so we've come out all the showers naked raw naked that some of the execs wanted me to take the 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 men the naked men out like on the change room like i'll oh, take it out you got to take it out um, but didn't make any comments because it's not going to tell me that didn't make any comments <laughs> about that later on i just thought it was really interesting what I always try to do with these movies, what I always try to do with these movies is make them as close to the bone as possible. Yeah. F for the audience. You know, I think I said it on, on, I think I said it on the adulthood stream. It's like, I make them as close to the bone as I can because I want the audience who kind of like feel like, oh, I don't know if I should be seeing that. I don't know. Oh my God, did mm. I see that? Did I see that? And that's always the point. And I feel like, mm. you know, you get, you get held up for being a, a, a gratuitous and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I don't, for me personally, again, I think 
we talked about this before, it's not necessarily what people do is if they don't like the person who does it. Yeah. Do you know mm. what I mean? Because, you know, you look at like, let me think, someone, I, uh, it's Guillermo del Toro. Love the, I don't know him person, love the guy, respect the guy's work, think he's amazing, whatever. I really he liked his Netflix show recently. That was pretty good. Wasn't it? Right. So then you go to like The Shape of Water mm. and he's got Sally Hawkins in the bath with her stuff out. Yeah. You don't need to see that. Well, real life is gratuitous. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, you know, I mean, let, let's be honest. You know, I'll just finish my point. Sorry, mate. You don't need Sorry. to see that. But my point is mm. this, right? My point is this: nobody complains about it. Yeah, mm. it's him. Nobody complains about it because it's Guillermo del Toro, so it's 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 fine. Do you know what I mean? If you, you, or you or I do it, it's a problem. And we get caught. Yeah, it's now. artistic for him, but uh, gratuitous for you. <laughs> right. That's, right. Yeah. That's the point. Pretty much. Yeah. So he. Well, as I he, said, you know. Sorry, Karen. No, go on. No, I was just going to say, like, yeah, I, I, my point I made before is, you know, real life is gratuitous in some ways. You know, I and mean, it's just it's things that we all see anyway. It's not anything we haven't seen. You know, in in terms of real life. Thing. I just think mm. it's just about it's just about as I said it's not really about yeah, yeah. it's not really about what it is it's, it's about excuse. who's doing it. Mm. if, you, if yeah. you don't like the person who's doing it then you can turn it into anything you want do you know what yeah. I mean whereas you know you, you you can look at Lars von Trez and you can look at uh <laughs> Lars von Trez I mean his stuff is like in can and you know mm. you can't you can't you can't get past the scene without seeing a bum or whatever like that do you know what I mean but again it's Lars von Trez you know, and actually, there's a certain yeah, elitist like, protectionism, isn't there, for, for certain yeah. people that are in the club and everyone yeah. else is not in the club? Uh, yeah, yeah he's, it's, he's it's, had some great but, but do you know what I mean? It's like, so here you see my character Sam, um, married to I want that this, backpack. The turtle <laughs> backpack. Here you see my yeah. character Sam, married to Kayla. Now, a lot of people had took issue with this because if you in the last film, Kayla. Mm. Kayla is uh, Mooney's girlfriend. Yeah. So people are like, oh, this is, this is, there's another shot I always wanted to do. Um, people yeah, are like, how is, he, how is he with Mooney's girlfriend? And I try to explain, like, they all live in the same area and it's 10 years later. Yeah. So, it yeah. Happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah, and people happens. move on. You don't know what course your life is going to take 10 years from now. That's, you know what I mean? Exactly. So, yeah, that makes sense, man. Trust me, exactly. And and here, for those who've seen the first film, you know, this of course is Alyssa. And again, some people yeah. are like, how is Alyssa talking to him? But it's 16 years later. So the mm. girl that was pregnant in kiddohood, uh, and you know, Sam, sorry if you haven't seen it, Sam spoilers, you know, kills the the, mm. the father of the baby. That girl is now mm. the baby. She's like six, 16. You know what I mean? And Alyssa has forgiven him. Yeah, you know, not because because they were kids and he's went to jail he served his time he came out and it's 16 years later so they're not best friends but you know i think a lot of people had and you can see the christian there's a cross behind her if you look over her yeah there it goes yeah. there it is yeah, forgiveness is a, a massive part right. of that you know that was a sign for for showing you know that she where she is in her life and i mean look at these shots some of these shots like i really sort of you know thought about beforehand and it just Again, yeah, sure. yeah. you know, so they have Arnold, who was in the last film, as Henry got bricked in the head, but he's back. You have David Ajala, who's in David Ajala, who's that, that detective there on the right. He's yeah. one of only three actors in all three movies. <laughs> People don't realize, yeah, because I remember he, he was at the end of the last one, wasn't he? Yeah, you, you pointed him out. He's in the last one as a copper. Uh, yeah. now he's a, he's a detective, but in the first one, he's just part of <laughs> Sam's gang, he's just part of Sam's gang. Mm -hmm. So and you show how life changes because in the first it's film, a nice Easter egg. Of, yeah, yeah. In the yeah. in the first film, he's literally part of the the, the gang, the bad boys. Mm. In the second film, he's community officer, uh, community support, and now he's, you know. Uh, Have you ever uh, considered a, making that as a as a uh, maybe like in the future, like a fourth film of his story? You know, just picking his character out, or maybe just a spin off. On. The nah. spin off, yeah. not actual a direct fourth film. You because these sorts of things are in, in, these sorts of things are impossible. Like you know, you would, these films. Remember, he explained in the last stream, Lee, why it's you know. Remember, yeah. mm. I'll get to yeah. So, firstly, you would have to kind of 
you know, these films would have had to make like 40 million for, for people to be interested in that for a start. But secondly, remember, there's a, a, a an evil producer that holds all the rights to this stuff. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That's so, why. Do you remember he said the last stream? Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you, <laughs> there are there, there are workarounds. Change the name of the character. You know, you are, do a lot I of mean, things like that. Nah, it's but so here you see he bumps into this woman, which of course looks completely random. But oh, actually, I won't spoil it. But you know, you, you'll see is 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 a is a bigger part of the story. Um, mm. And this is another thing that the the execs. So the first thing the execs wanted to cut out were, were the, the, the boys, naked boys in the change room. But they wanted to remove this strand of the movie. Right. Uh, because they didn't like the fact that the character sort of goes off with this this girl. And, uh. you know, the, the, well, the, the argument was like, it's a flawed character. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you don't, you yeah. don't come up at the end of the film, you don't hate him. You just think... Man, you idiot! You've, He's you've, no angel. You've, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. And I just think that that is that's again just part of life. You know, people are flawed. And old habits die hard. You know, that's well. That's I don't. We don't necessarily is. know. We don't necessarily know if it. it, it we don't necessarily mm. know if it's a habit for, for Sam. But I think it's just well. That's like, it because you got a lot of you got a lot of gaps there. You know, you got a ten year gap. Yeah, for a start, ten so you don't really know his yeah. process. Yeah. The girl he ended up with in the last film is clearly not the girl he's with now, but you can see his kids look different. So you can tell that one kid is from one relationship and the other kid is from his new relationship. But, you know, here he yeah, got like, he, yeah. got, uh, he got seduced here, <laughs> you know, and I just think like it was just showing like, again, like a flawed character. But I yeah. think for me, the best films, you know, you look at stuff mm -hmm. like, you know, some of the films I like, like La Haine and, and, you know, City of God and Boys in the Hood and they're flawed characters. Like what, mm. what films, I mean, there are films with, with goody two shoes, perfect people. Of course there are, but. Yeah, but they're very they're, boring. <laughs> like, yeah, but, but, but that's not true. We were all flawed. We all have flaws. Anybody that says we don't, we do. We all have flaws. Every single person Set on this on perfect. has flaws. <laughs> yeah, oh, if we were perfect again, it'd be a barbed society as well. You know, it'd be a we need nice those. maybe, but but it's it completely boring. Completely boring. Mm -hmm. So, here you see the, the seduction, and of course, like you know, without spoiling it for those who haven't seen it, well, I'm assuming everyone has seen it, but without spoiling it, like there's there's more to this seduction than, than meets the eye for sure. But yeah, and of course, Sam is like resisting until he can't resist anymore and i think i think 95 percent of guys would probably succumb you know i think there's a five percent that would probably dive out the window and go home and go <laughs> <laughs> dive out the window like superman <laughs> go on. There's, yeah there's a few that would dive out the window but I, I i'm pretty sure that a few wouldn't you know and of course you don't really see what happens here but we we find out later on Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah. Here's the ice cream. <laughs> used to be my favorite ice cream. Yeah. So, really, so this kid, this kid here, um, not Arnold, but this guy here, Daniel Anthony, this actor who plays my younger brother, he auditioned for the very, he auditioned for the second film when the younger brother character first appears. And he was, he was basically, it was between him and the person who got the role. And it was just very, it was very tight. He didn't get it. He didn't not get it for any other reason than I think, I think, you know, the, the producers who, the execs were sort of making the final decisions on that film and, and kind of chose the other person. But then here, the other person didn't want to do it. And so we, we got him, to, we asked him if he wanted to do it and he was straight in, which was lovely, I thought. Nice. It was sort of a nice uh, circle, you know? Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, Sam's just hearing about his brother. So I try to cut to the music a lot of the times with stuff like this. Look, here's another little bit of setup there, that kid that walks past him. But of course, we don't know that yet. So that hospital there actually in, in real life is where... Oh, this is interesting. So look at this person there, that woman behind the desk. So that woman behind the desk is, is one of my uh, people that came out against me. And and claim uh -huh. that I, I said that claim that I said that she would have to do certain things to be in the movie, but there she is still in the movie. 
Right. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Right. Well, there you go. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, Adjua, Adjua here, who played my mother, uh, played uh, 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 Freeman's mother in, in Doctor Who. Doctor Who, yeah. And of course, She's Daniel Lanty. Daniel Lanty was in Sarah Jane Adventures. Uh, no, was it called? What was it called? Was it called Sarah Jane Adventures? Yeah, Sarah yeah. Jane Adventures. Yeah, he was in Sarah Jane Adventures, and uh, and Adjua, of course, played played my mum in Adulthood, and was Freeman's mum in Doctor Who, and such a nice Easter egg. <laughs> well, yeah, but That's I great. think technically she was my mum in Adulthood first. No, she take was, that yeah. RTD. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not sure. When was Freema? When was Freema in? Um, what year was Freema in? In who? As uh, as uh, two thousand and seven, eight? No, eight, eight. Mm -hmm. Was it eight? Yeah. Hold on, Billy Piper did two seasons. She did one with Christopher Eccleston. Yeah, I was she Then it was Freema. one with David Freeman Tennant. That's two. Yeah. 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 So that's two thousand and eight. Yeah. So two thousand and eight. Right, so we shot we shot Adulthood in two thousand and seven, and it came out in two thousand and eight. So it's all kind of round around about the same time. No, that's good. But I'll Adjua, keep it in Adjua. the chat saying two thousand and seven. Oh, same time. It is all seven, so I was right. Two years, yeah, I was. Yeah, it is all seven. Yeah, no, you know, right. I was just trying to figure out which one was was done first. So anyway, here, of course, he's now with with Henry, who the brother's best friend from the last film, and Henry's grown up. Henry's talking about, you know, he doesn't want to get involved. He's, he's older now. And it's really trying to show in the film, like, you know, that you kind of get, you know, you kind of get, again, it, the, the whole theme of this is like, you kind of get older and you change and things are not the same as they used to be. You're not the same person as you used to be. Because when Henry but was stuff young, is dragging you, but the past is catching up with you and, and it's dragging you back in sort of thing. Yes. Because when Henry was young, he was, bad you know he was searching for me on that day you know but here we have years years later and his wife is look look at this this is the wonderful actress one of the most famous actresses in the world now lashana lynch from from captain oh, yeah, marvel yeah, yeah. and and uh yeah she was in the latest james bond the movie yeah and woman the woman queen the woman king woman king so lashana was in was in fast girls as well which is a movie i wrote she also was in bulletproof um and and then and, and obviously she was in this and i just you know she's well the world is seeing how good she is now but obviously you know i th thought she's always been fan fantastic that's a great start isn't it so here we get a threat mm. First threat and he's like oh not again <laughs> <Yeah, 100%. shit. laughs> So oh, I don't want to be dragged into this shit. Hundred percent doesn't want to. I think when you have when you have children, it's a, it's a different. It's yeah. A different oh yeah, because that that that's a an Achilles heel for that kind of shit. It is, but it also it, it it's one of those. It is an Achilles heel, but you ever heard women call it mama bear stuff? Like it's like yeah, yeah. I will, I will murder you. You know what I mean? Like you mess so mm. much. Do you know what I mean? It's a different. You, you do everything you can to stay out of protect trouble. your kids and right. protect your kids. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, this guy here was in was in um, what was it? Hold on, it was uh, it was uh, something written by oh, it was a, a spin off Doctor Who. Peter Capaldi was in the first episode. Class, he oh. was the lit one of the lead lead characters in class. Here he gets the right hook. So this is oh, <laughs> no, he was. He was I mean, oh, this is what these. This is what these films are. This you know. This is what these films are about. It's like you're kind of playing an exaggerated version of the everyman. Do you know what mm. I mean? You're playing an exaggerated version of the sort of every guy that every guy. If anyone anyone follows someone home, every guy wants to think that they would react like that. Do you know what I mean? Mm. <laughs> Where in reality, mm. most of us would cower in our windows and and <laughs> and call it. Well, you you would, but in the movies, yeah. this this is what we can do. <clears throat> now this guy. I'm sure this, it happens though. This, well, of course, it does, otherwise the, the you yeah. know, we wouldn't hear about all this stuff on the news. But this character Same. hugs is 
disgusting character who basically hu- is called Hugs because he hugs people and 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 stabs them. Oh, stuff. he's one of them. Yeah, one of them scumbags. A filthy you know? shanker. <laughs> a proper, a proper stabbed you in the back kind of person. Yeah, <laughs> oh, right. I mean, I mean, you got, you have no idea. Life imitates art. Let's say that. Let's just say that. Mm. Let's just say that. You have absolutely no idea. But you know, I, I yeah. think. Yeah. I think I, oh, I love see. what Sam is saying here because he's right. Not in front of me, house. Not in front where my family. This is where yeah. my family lives. Yeah, I think when people mess with your family, it's a, it's a different level. No, you're right, man. That is a reaction of every father out there. I don't care. Fathers can, the blokes can say that it's not. It is. It is. The look on your face. Danger. Yeah. Wow. That was really yeah, good. Seriously, you, man. You would. You do have to protect your family. Way. Like you can Jerk. sense a scumbag from up from. You can sense a you can sense a scumbag six years previous. Do you know what I mean? So I kind mm. of knew the way he was going to turn out in real life. That's why he's. Uh, I like that reaction. That's a that's a real honest reaction, right there. Of course. Mm. Of course. So now you you know you have the sort of you have the sort yeah, of I want, debate. I, I want those drawers. Do. I like that. <laughs> I'm looking at set now. <laughs> yeah. The classy stuff. Yeah, though. if you had Lee, if you had your Lee on your movie set as an extra, just watch your your stuff on the set. <laughs> 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 yeah. like, oh, well, I like that. That's fine. <laughs> you have Paul and, his, Paul and his wife, and you can see the uh, the younger kid with the the wife here, who's who's their child, which is the daughter. And he's trying to. Keep the missus away Great from distance. the house. Without, yeah. Without telling yeah. Her why she needs to be away. She knows something's up. Yeah, I mean, she knows you. Well, in the, you could hear it in the tone of his voice. He was very. Yeah, he, he wasn't very well, good. Yeah, at I mean, he wasn't yeah. very good at holding it at all. Sam <laughs> think, wasn't. No, you know, he wasn't. Interestingly, that's kind of half done on purpose. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. You know? mm. For the dramatic purposes. So here he calls Henry because Henry gave him the card. And this is a scene a lot of people found quite funny or part of this scene. Though. <laughs> That's typical though. Don't ever take a card in front of your missus, man. Yeah. <laughs> About a club card. Gerald, you're listening. <laughs> and especially when you say no. <laughs> That's it then because they know there's something bad. It was that now. long silence. It was that long silence. So what, what's interesting here, right? If you look at what, what's interesting, right, is and this is this is something I think is really important, right? What 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 people don't understand about these films is there are moments in them where they're quite funny and mm-hmm. I undercut the humor with darkness. Like he, he's the, he's the light, the light half really, you know, I just said they come to my house and I, whatever. No, no, but what's, what's interesting is Arnold has to kind of be ridiculous to make the audience laugh. Right. But okay. Lashana, uh, she has to play it straight. And that, mm-hmm. that is real amazing acting because she, if she played it, if she hammed it up, then the scene doesn't work. It becomes just yeah, like a yeah. comedy scene. Whereas she plays yeah, it so Yeah, you need the straight, straight man. Yeah. yeah, she's just wonderful. You know? So here you have... Well, that's a typical reaction of a wife or a girlfriend that knows that the husband or the boyfriend's getting themselves into some sort of crap and they're like, she rolled their eyes like, as if to say, whatever, go on. So this girl here, the blonde girl here, for those who don't know, the blonde girl here, I've known since she was maybe this girl, I know her since she was maybe nine. That is Camille's daughter. That's Camille Kadori's daughter, Rosa. Oh, bro. I believe Jackie Tyler. And I believe, I believe this was her first movie. Oh, she's very pretty as well. Oh yeah, you can see her, she's got the same eyes. Yeah, you can see, you can. Yeah, she stands up for herself. Yeah. (laughs) You can see, you can see that that she stands up for herself, and that that guy, look, there you go, there's the scumbag again, and that the other Mm. guy is a little, a vile little prick. But you always get, you know, when there's a group of friends, there's always one horrible one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're always one horrible one, and, and 
you, you set them up from the beginning because the way you set up by setting them up at the beginning, when they get their comeuppance later on, the audience react to it a lot more. Yeah. Mm. And because it's you, always that one and everyone else folds when he folds, you know, that because he's right. the, the also, one that holds also, it all. He's the one that has the extreme opinions and has the extreme thoughts do you know what i mean whereas mm. the others kind of don't and you see them all fall away from him as the, as the movie goes on yeah everyone has their limit i suppose but some psychos just don't do they 100 <laughs> percent. so we shot this in in uh i think little venice or made a veil which is a part of yeah, part yeah. of london which mm. is really very 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 expensive sort of yeah wow. <laughs> way too expensive like this this house is like <laughs> this what? house was like this guy gets a number right this house is like poor million. son man it's always million. this poor fella's just getting his nose smashed again <laughs> no man so this house is like 15 million and the people weren't even living there they just kind of yeah, had it empty. Wow. well it's it's all property uh ownership you know just yeah sitting there <laughs> man just walked boy that, no, that's yeah. funny <laughs> That's a moment I kind of re I regret actually. I feel like he was a bit, a little bit too near. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he was a little bit too close to 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 believe that he wouldn't have seen out of the peripheral vision. But I know, don't know. You... Kind of works for me because he walks <laughs> by as you're holding your man's mouth. It actually gives it a kind of a bit of a comedy element to it. But oh, there we go. Messed up, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Oh, for fuck's sake. He thinks he, he tries. <laughs> Wallop. Oh, shit. So this uh -oh. is the shot I had for ages as well. This one, I wanted to do the sliding down from the pool table. Then he crawls and then gets dragged back. Uh, brilliant. So that, those have been planned for. <laughs> for oh, them. my God, you're getting the shit kicked out of you. Yeah, completely. So here, so this is a, a lot of stuff I get in trouble for as well. Again, like we talked about earlier, it's like, oh, no, mm. this, this bit naked. I'm like, do you know what, man? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's how it is. Know, it's how it is. Wow, yeah, um, that's. I don't spend a lot of time in brothels, but, but it, it, I don't spend a lot of time in brothels, mate, but it does happen. <laughs> Another thing is, you know, you know, uh, taking it out of the film, but taking it into, into life is like, me getting in trouble for like booking all these people. I didn't. I didn't book any of these people. I don't book extras. I don't book smaller roles. Do you know what I mean? It's not something that mm. I do. I couldn't tell you who does, but a member of the crew obviously does that. But it's not. It's well, not these are professionals. You know, they they wouldn't do it under duress, would they? I mean, it's ridiculous to even. <laughs> no, but of that's course. That's what I mean. Of course, I, I mean, get, of course, I get blamed for that, but of course they would. Of course, yeah, of course. But that, but that's the thing. It's not as if like. They're, they, they're asked to do this movie. They're not asked to do anything that they already don't know that they're not, that they're, you know what I mean? They're not asked to do anything else. But if it, what was, they're asked if to it do. was naked men, if it was naked men, you'd be applauded as being stunning and brave, wouldn't you? I mean, it's, well, no, there was, well, we just talked about this. There was naked men at the beginning, yeah. right? And no, interestingly, true, yeah. we just talked about this. And interestingly, I was told by people to cut, to, to cut those out. But nobody said anything mm. about all of these people. So it's just like there's always <laughs> there's weird. always double, yeah. there's always double always double standards. Right. So yeah. keep the naked men out because we can't have that on TV. But plenty of naked women. Yeah, nah. yeah. yeah. that's yeah. ridiculous, man. And it's then it's ridiculous. your fault for having the naked women in it. <laughs> yeah, really? then it's Noel's fault. Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, it's, I mean, it's, it's my fault in that I wrote the I wrote the, the piece, obviously. But in terms of like, I don't I don't then go around. It. I don't then go around looking for people and booking people and all that kind of stuff. That's not done. Everyone mm. in the movie is in the movie doing what they signed up to do. Do you know what I mean? It, and That's they all it. agreed to do it. Exactly. 100%. That's what I mean. They signed on the dotted line so that if... if, if... <laughs> I don't want to say... I know when, when, I, I, when, I was a, when I was a film extra, <clears throat> when I was a film extra, one of the things you get asked is, are you comfortable doing nudity? And stuff like that. Obviously, I said, no. Who wants to see that? But like... It, it's there in black and white, and it, you know. And there depends, are people who are actually brought in specialists. It depends you know. on the role, right? So if you're yeah. if you're if you're cast to play a uh, a prostitute or a person that is going to to do that, then of course, if you're cast to play a milkman, 
you know, that's not going to be in your... <laughs> That's not, yeah, exactly. be, that's not going to be on the dotted line. I don't know what roles you were going for, mate. But I think... Unless it's a naked, <laughs> naked milkman, maybe. Got milk. So, yeah, we got in a, as you know, I got in a lot, a lot of trouble for this stuff. But it, again, it comes down to the same the same thing that we, we talk about with, with like a Del Toro. Well, I don't want to keep bringing up his name because I, I rate the guy. And I, I well, I've him. seen more. Uh, do you know what, though? I've seen, I've seen movies with a lot more naked people in it. Game of Thrones. I mean, for crying out loud. Game yeah. of Thrones. Prime, prime television. House, House of the Dragon as well now as well. Uh, and nobody complains about that. Like, well, Matt Smith's, yeah. one of Matt Smith's very four scenes and that is him um, doing some chick. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> Again, if they like those people, it's fine. And I think it comes mm. down to what's needed. If I look back at this film now and I go, okay, let, let's be fair. If I go, all right, is that needed? I'd be like, maybe not, actually. Do you know what I mean? But then I go, mm. is Sally Hawkins needed in the bar for them? I thought, no, it's not needed well, either. So again, well, look, hold on. To- it, it, it's, it's rated, okay? This film has a, a, has a movie rating. If you're over 18 and you can't handle this stuff, maybe you shouldn't go to an over 18 movie. Stick with Disney and do a, a universal. It's a 15. Or it's a 15. Well, there you are. Fift- I mean, like 15 roles are looking at worse things than that on the internet by that 100%, age. 100%. 100%. Mm. And, Not and- that it's right, but at the end of the day, right, it's a movie, right? At the end, 16 movies, you're, it's, it's, it used to be PG or something anyway. So it's parental guidance anyway. So it's at the guidance of the parents. But parents don't kind of do that today. They just let their kids watch whatever they want anyway. They watch slasher movies and YouTube. horror movies and YouTube and then all of those other dark sites. Like, do you know what I mean? So I don't know. I think people are too sensitive nowadays. We grew up in an era of TV where we were seeing arms being chopped off. And, you know, Alien, for example, that movie. You know, with the chest I mean, you think saying about, aliens. Let me ask you about this. Do you remember... And we'll get back onto our movie in a minute because here you see Uncle Curtis, which anyone who's seen the previous two films will know is a really important character. Yeah. yeah. What you're understanding now is everything that's happened with the, the woman earlier and the boy that bumped into me was set up by him. But to, oh, to just make a, to make a point, big bad. I just want to talk about who remembers American Pie? Yeah. Mm. Now, American yeah, Pie, yeah, yeah. what would that be now? A short film? You couldn't even show that film anymore, can you? No, probably not. No, get and I will there. admit, I love him. I love American Pie, the, fran- the franchise. You're talking about the comedy, American Pie, yeah? yeah? That's yes. yeah, yeah. I loved it. Really I loved really. it. I loved it. But now, in by by 2022 standards, <laughs> I mean, he spends the first 40 minutes of the film uh, uh, recording the girl in his bedroom, and people are only angry because he came too quick. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't. Yeah. <laughs> or he screw screwed an apple pie. Or screwing the apple pie. Or having a bet mm. with his friends about who can get shot. Like, you can't play that film anymore. Are they going to But then there, there, there's, a, there's a gay movie out called uh, uh, Call Me By Your Name or something like that, isn't it? And and that's got some pretty uh, gratuitous... But because it's stunning and brave, it's allowed. Right. You know, it's it's because it's all artistic, you see, and it's it's exactly. LGBT, so... They, I mean, well, there is a hypocritical nature to the industry, though. There always has been. Let's be honest. Noel like has pointed out a few examples, but it has been like that. It's been hypocritical. You know, some things you get outraged about, and other things are fine. Again, it comes down to it comes down to who you like and why. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I think it's pretty clear that you know someone like me. Uh, was not supposed to achieve what I achieved. And so they'll pick holes in, in anything that uh, I've done to suit the narrative that they want people to have. It's as, it's as simple as that. But anyway, back to Uncle Curtis, as we know in the first movie, because you shouldn't be watching the third one if you've not seen the first one. So in yeah. the first movie, his nephew Trife got, got, got killed. Mm. Um, and mm. now in this movie... Here we are. He's saying, I want everything back. Everything you took from me, I want back. I mean, obviously, he can't get his nephew, but he went to jail. He's been in trouble after the second film. He went to prison. And so now he's putting it on to, to, to Sam. And he's teamed eye up with Mook. Yeah, he's teamed up with Mooks. Mooks is providing the means. And Uncle Curtis is just, you know, all he said is, I'll do whatever you need to enforce in wise. I just need to help you, you to help me get Sam. And, and that's where we are.
There you go. Mm. The irony. <laughs> yeah, it's just thinking this is a yeah. prescient. There you go. Man. And listen to this. This is important because this is how I thought about my life. Mm. Never mess with a guy who ain't got nothing to lose, but I was wrong. Oi. Yeah, but he's basically telling them you're fucked with me. That's it, mate. I'm coming after you. <laughs> and that bartender, up. Yeah? the bartender back there in in the middle, right? You can just see him out of focus, right? Yeah. Um, that is an actor called Michael Ward, who's now like a huge actor. Oh he's yeah, in, yeah. He's in. He's in all sorts of all sorts of huge things. He's in that big Sam Mendes film coming out. He's in Top Boy. He's in a whole bunch of whole bunch of things but there he is look Michael Wood in the background and this is where you see the setup this is where you see the setup happening that everything the seduction earlier was all part of the plan and now now look look at his face now he knows now he knows he's screwed because set he knows up. what he did he yeah. set up yeah, he, he shouldn't have you know let's be honest he shouldn't have you know well, I think you know if you 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 panic, you 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 you're thinking about protecting your family, and then you just end up making it worse. <laughs> you know, but what are you going to do? You you panic, you know. And this moment here was sort of a a nod to how times moved on. So watch here. But yeah, sometimes you you get slapped on, back for when blood, <laughs> and they laugh at him. <laughs> Oh. So, but but here's the interesting thing 80, uh, 18 uh, 10 years previous when we made the last film people said blood a lot so in the last film mm -hmm. a lot of the characters say hey blood we saying blood and obviously in the eight years that moved on time changed so much that it wasn't said anymore so I wanted to kind of reference that in the movie and show that he's almost of a different <laughs> generation you know and the young people a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah in many ways which is kind of yeah. what happens now there's there's opinions and there's thoughts and and things that people had before that you just can't have anymore because the generation is different. <clears throat> yeah, that, so that when, uh, when, yeah, so when Sophie Aldred came back to Doctor Who as her character Ace from the eighties, and she said "wicked," and it just felt really like anachronistic, you know, like out of time and yeah, uh, yeah, it was a bit cringe. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That guy there, Ow. that was a really fast runner. Really fast runner. Mm -hmm. And Henry coming here to save him. And actually, <laughs> you guys want to see. He says all the wrong words as well. That's why they're looking at each other. He says, I'll pick it up and the man's a shot. <laughs> shot is actually a drug dealer, not a person that shoots people. So he was saying all the wrong things, which is why the younger boys were looking at him <laughs> and looking at each other. You flip the bird. <laughs> I love it. Like, is that a fucking bloody air uh, as well? <laughs> totally confused. Yeah. Confused. Yeah. <laughs> now, look, this is where it begins to, you see, oh. like, see, he Unravel, stops him from helping. Yeah. You can see who the scumbags are, right? He's got him on the floor. He stops him from helping. You're starting to really identify who the guys are that are scumbags and the guys are that maybe shouldn't be doing this, you know? Yeah. yeah. Redeemable. <laughs> Oh, the ones that are over their heads. Yeah. Basically. That's what he just says. Would you say, man, a shot or are you cooking? He says, I don't know what kids say these days. <laughs> <laughs> well, Salisa wasn't his finger. Salisa was a toy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So I always I'll tell you where I learned I tell you where I learned that, right? Undercut humor with darkness. This is mm. gonna sound really weird. I got it, I learned it from Russell T. Davis. Russell T. Davis said to me once in a 
2005 or whatever when we were shooting, he talked about like Boomtown or I can't remember what episode it was, but he just said he likes to undercut. Oh, yeah. He likes to undercut humor with darkness. Mm. Excuse me, and vice versa. Right. And vice versa, because you know you were laughing a second ago with Arnold talking about his cousin's big head, and mm. now like something horrible's happened. Yeah, and it just plays with your emotions. And again, you yeah, can it's a nice it. juxtaposition. Yeah, he tells him get in the car. You can see what scumbag gets straight in, and you can see the, you can see the the Anakin Skywalker who might be changing his mind here. Do you know what I mean? You can see mm. the Vader like he's thinking about <clears throat> changing his mind. You know because. And that baseline there as well just sort of emphasizes it. This sort of tension. Right, yeah. it's tension. So this this actor here, this piece of shit here, right? So I I I gave it, I've given him about I don't know, various jobs. He's in bulletproof, produced his films, whatever. As soon as all my stuff happened, he deleted every photo of me off Instagram. Me and him off Instagram. <sighs> acted like acted like he never knew me. <laughs> wow. That's and grateful. I, 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 I'll call him a piece of shit because that's what he is. I don't, I don't really care. Like, oh, you know what I mean. Fair enough, mate. He knows where I'm at. He knows where I am. Um, no, so that's was... scummy, man. I'll, I'll say it. That's scummy behaviour, man. Oh, so you know man. what I mean. Everybody deserves due process, and you know you're innocent until proven guilty. You well, what happened? That's that gone out the window now. Is that's just the way it is now with society? We just judge way, people on. No one just has to spew something about you now and that's it, like you're done. Obviously, but you know, it, for me, it's like, that's cool. You know, people people want to do that. But when you've got people that are your friends that you've helped out, you, you, you would expect at least a phone call. Do you know what I mean? Mm. At least a phone call to be like, bro, what am I hearing? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nothing. Mm. Um, that's cowardly. That's cowardly. Yeah, it is, man. I don't expect anything more from that piece of shit. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, fucking right. Is that is that a hot chocolate in that glass, or is no, that Bailey's? No, that's Irish cream. It's a Guinness yeah, pineapple. No Guinness pineapple punch. Guinness no pineapple way. Punch. Yeah, you're shitting me. Is, really? That's a thing. Yes. Wow. <laughs> what? I got. Yes, and I'm a, I'm Irish. I'm a Guinness drinker. I've never heard of that drink. What the hell are you doing oh. with Guinness over there? Yeah, but you hate pineapple <laughs> and pizza, so I don't know what's wrong with you. So. Oh, I like pineapple <laughs> and pizza too, but Guinness pineapple punch. So you obviously Guinness and sort mm. of condensed milk with pineapple juice yeah. and something I can't remember. Go Google the recipe, and you guys should you guys should try I'm, it because it's I'm it's a heck of a drink. Man. It's a I'm heck of a drink. No, right I'll now. give it a go. I'll give it a go. The heck of a drink, man. It, and, and it's good for Christmas, actually. It's a sort of egg, not eggnoggy, but it's a sort of milky kind of when you put the condensed like milk things. in there. It's a, it's a good milk. Anyway, mm. here again, I like these vistas, these establishers. And this is Sam. Oh, there you go. She's just delivered something to his house that he doesn't know about. Um, and basically, this is where they've. Uncle Curtis said, I'm going to get you. I'm going to ruin everything you've... And this is where they've they've sent the wife. They've sent the wife this. Which is the... Oh, the video of you. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously... They, yeah. Cheating. Yeah. They set him up. And so, I mean, there's no... He, he, he can't do it. He can't do Shaggy and be like, it wasn't me because it's him on the, on the tape. He's not I having mean, a good day. <laughs> well, he deserve he deserve he deserves all of this. <laughs> well, yeah, he, he, he can't take that back. Yeah, he de he deserves this. But again, it comes down to what we talked about, like being being flawed, right? Like, what you're gonna, you know, in the first film, he was the 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 vilest. In the first film, he was the vilest guy out there, you know. He's trying to trying to change. In the second film, he tried to change. He's trying to change. You, I don't know if you guys have mates. You know, you get people in life that sometimes, like an addict or whatever, and mm. some people can can stop. And there's oh, there's a lot of times there's that one person that he stops for a year or two, and then something happens and he's back on again. Yeah, like off the wagon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. An alcoholic, and then they're back on again, and then you 
then they then they see you and are in rehab and you think, oh, oh, you're doing well, man. And then a year later you hear, oh yeah, he's just got nicked. He was drunk in the pot. You know what I mean? There's just sometimes those people, right? You know? That's and I it. think Sam, I think Sam one throughout his life is one of those people that drama finds him. Yeah. Just, you know what sometimes I mean? a, a, a you know black cloud just follows you doesn't it and it just yes. rains yes. on you like constantly yeah i, think I know that feeling <laughs> so this this pack shot that i do of these guys here you know it's just a way of giving people screen time because really and truly you only needed mooks at the door you didn't need yeah. it but it's just kind of like i like those sort of group shots that you 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 kind of have like an intimidating sort of. It makes him more intimidating though. If you, you know, he's got, even though he's a small, weak man, yeah. he's got all these sort of big people around him. So it makes him feel bigger so he can talk tougher. Yeah. Because he'd and be course, nothing without yeah. them. You know. <clears throat> <laughs> That's, a That's, a threat. Threat. Bagel. That's a threat. Yeah. And of course, <laughs> that's right. He, he, pretends, he pretends that he pretends that Mooks is a sort of over a uh, uh, a more powerful overlord than than he is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Mooks is someone that pulls all the shots, but none of them have actually seen Mooks. I love this performance from Shaniko here. Look at his teardrop, Bob. Oh, mm. that. And that was uh, from her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, brilliant. I just That's a really difficult I just, thing to do. Yeah, yeah, she's great. But I just, well, I don't think she forced it down, but it was one of those things where ooh, he deserves that. I don't think yeah. she forced it down, but it was one of those things where I just told her to hold her head and and like just move. And obviously, the, I guess the move, the the momentum of the movement made it drop. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Which just was was beautiful. Perfect timing. Yeah. He might have set you up, Sam, but come on, man. Jesus. But yeah, yeah, the choice. 90, yeah, yeah, the 90 choice. so yeah, well, as as Noel did actually say, 95% of men in that situation, I suppose, would 5% yeah. do Superman out the window. But again, you know what I think what what yeah, so that's talking about the, the other girl, Lexi from the last film. And yeah, how, mm. you know, the, the you know how, how they sort of so how they've sort of um, discovered this, the little boy discovered her dead. Do you know what I mean? Um, mm. And that's the son. That's the the uh, the, the older kid. Um, who's going to protect us from you? I love this because that that is the key. You know, when you mm. get a lot of these people that are flawed or that make these mistakes, and they're talking about, I'm I'm trying to do this for my family. It's like you, the best thing you, you brought can do it. For you, right. <laughs> Best thing you can do for your family is get off the gear or get off the, the drink or or stop being an arsehole or get off the drugs or stop being involved in these in, in crime. And mm. you know, it's difficult for some people. Damn, I want that cake as well. <laughs> that looks so good. The cheesecake. Oh, yeah. I love cheesecake. I love it. Is it a proper love... uh, Jewish cheesecake, baked one? I, I have no idea. I don't. I don't. I don't discriminate against my cheesecake, so I wouldn't. Know <laughs> you need. I'll tell you from. what. If you, there's a Jewish bagel uh, place on um, uh, Brick Lane, best baked cheesecake on the planet. You go there. It's okay. amazing. So okay. Good. Okay. It's the oldest uh, bagel bakery in in London. Right. I love this shot as well. Yeah. I try to do a lot more composed shots in. in yeah, this it film. shows. Shows. You know, than 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 the others because in the others I didn't really know what I was doing. So you got some nice establishing shots. You got some nice wide shots. Yeah, That's some nice very band. racist, some very racist talk from from, uh, <laughs> from, from. I just feel like I just feel like people don't. People don't sort of understand that a lot of the guys that behave like that kind of just have that in them. And it's not that they'll ever say that they are that way, but they just talk, they talk like that. Do you know what I mean? It's really sort of, mm. you know, these, these films scare me now. Now that I'm, you know, even this was like 2016, 17, 
they scare me now because like I'm I'm older. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. Kid old scares me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like well, when, uh, when when you get older, you, you you sort of mellow, don't you? You sort of become a bit wiser. Well, I don't know about my case, but you certainly try to become a bit wiser. But you 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 know you, you sort of settle down a bit more, and you've got more things to protect. You know, you've got your your home, yeah. your family, and all that kind of stuff. And, yeah. 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 Hundred percent. Priorities like, you know, change. You know. When I when I wrote the film, I I couldn't be more sort of like, this is the way it is, and that's how it was. But you know, as an older person with 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 children, like it 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 frightens me. You know, mm. my my oldest is is fourteen, who's one year younger than the kids in kiddohood. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like it's scary. It, 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 it's it's a bit like a a bit of an albatross, isn't it? It's like round your neck, and it it's it's there as a constant reminder of the things you want to. Stay away from, keep your your kids away from, and it's a yeah. it's a it's a constant thing, isn't it? That you have to always strive for better things and and to and to instill that in your next generation, and you know, say so this is not what you want. <laughs> this is so what this you is what Curtis, Curtis is telling him. We're gonna we're gonna do this, and Sam's yeah. like, Sam doesn't. He doesn't. He still doesn't want to do it. He still doesn't want to. No. He's trying to everything he can to av- to avoid it. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? because once once he goes to that place, there's going to be no stopping him. Yeah. Caught in a trap. Yeah, I can look back. So this is this is this. So this is now because Sam's like, I'm not doing it. And throws the phone away. This is where they just cross. Not that they haven't crossed lines already, but they really have not been able to draw him out. So this is where the line gets really crossed, which you're about to see. Because here you see a woman getting robbed. And Sam's mum does the right thing in helping her, of course. But look who the woman is. Mm. And we, I, I debated this for a, a while because obviously I love that shot. We debated this for a while, the water going in there. I love it. <laughs> so, so simple, but I really like, I, I really like the shot. Um, I like that. Yeah. I like that you transition. like that. Mm. Yeah. Um, I just try, I just wanted some cool transitions in, in the movie and stuff like, mm. you know, if I wanted to cut, if I wanted to cut into the scene later, I could have cut it anywhere I want because the, the water glasses enables me to do that and I could just have sound over it. Do you know what I mean? And you're also showing her character, you know, by by showing how she's welcoming and you know that she's thinking about someone else. You know. Well, to be fair, you know, I think all of us would have done the same thing, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's so simple. Well, it's just a. You know, you don't show. think you're, you don't think you're getting set up, you know. Mm. You, you're kind of just. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I had the worst day ever. I think yeah. he's had worse. I think he's had worse days. Yeah, uh, still, it's not what you want, really, is it? <laughs> so here he goes. Typical question: like, why would you let her in? It's like, you know, my mum does stuff like this all the time. Oh, so uh, <laughs> someone came to read the meter and I let them in. I'm like, why did you let them in, mum? Like, what, what are you doing? <laughs> you know. He's starting to figure mm-hmm. it out. Oh, shit. Would oh, they go that far? Would they? Would they? Would they? Would they? He's wondering, would they? So here you can see that they obviously used to treat her bad as well. And she's obviously... Mm worked her way out of whatever they used to do. See, so she... So she's, even, she's, yeah, she's yeah, a she, pawn in the game as well, you know, that's 100% it. Under duress, yeah. Under, under duress. So we debated this, like, if... I don't think it's threatening... Oi. 
Fool. That's fucking That's horrible. evil. Horrible. Even look here now. This is here. You go. Here's another Anakin moment. A Vader moment. Even he knows. Even he knows yeah. that was too far. I got I got uh, goosebumps from that. It's horrible. So, uh, mm. It's horrible. I can't but imagine. I, think I wanted to. That's a very powerful, uh, powerful. I wanted moment. to draw them out. Like you could have just beat the mum up, but I just, you know, it's a movie, and I wanted to make it like really, really dramatic. Mm. Like, you know, because a lot of people wanted him to go back to what he was in Kid <laughs> right? Not being yeah. evil, but obviously that guy. And so far in the movie, he's been that family man that is flawed and dumb, but trying to be better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. This is the point where... The turning point, this, yeah. This is the point where you lose that. Mm. This is the point where you lose that. Now... Oh, horrible, for fuck's horrible. sake. Horrible. Horrible. Mm. I like that shot as well. Yeah, it's a great shot. I like the aspect ratio every, as well. Every, everybody's dead now. Everybody's dead. Yeah, yeah, it's like... Yeah, you can't... And this sound... Mm. That just might is. Can you hear that sort of... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the rumble, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wanted to really just that's all he's hearing desolation, that's what it reminds me of just complete desolation, emptiness he said even this is probably days later right, because it's funeral yeah. days, days later oh I like yeah, that, that's, that's very clever Yeah, just just like it's, it's just not there anymore no, doesn't remember, doesn't you hear nothing, yeah, you see nothing flashes of life and that's just having to go through the motion he's just checked out yeah. Yeah. Desolation. Uh, and I do like these shots, actually. I, I know I shouldn't say mm. this. We're not supposed to say that about your, your film. <laughs> no, go for I it, think. man. I just, you know, I, I love, <laughs> I, I just love, I just love making films. And I, I love that how, how much I had sort of grown uh, in this time. But obviously in, in the years since the first and, you know, it's just something I, I, I want to get back to at some point. Do you know what I mean? Mm. I think it just sort of reminds me of, remember, I don't know how many of you seen Boys in the Hood, but, you know, there's a moment in Boys in the Hood where, where someone opening a yogurt. <laughs> that's, that's no, probably, sorry. Lee. My backy. Yeah. Sorry, apologize. There's a moment. There's a moment in Boys in the Hood where one brother says to the other one, you know, kind of like, you got you to get them. You know, that's, that's what you do. And this is kind of one of those scenes where it's like Sam knows what his life is. Do you know what I mean? He knows who he is. Mm. The brother <clears throat> is a good kid, sings his music. Yeah. You do that stuff. Look. But Sam is that Sam's life is is not that. Oh, it's giving him permission. Yeah, yeah, because I think like as he as he said, it's like it's one of those things. It's like you know that that kid there, you know, he can make it in life. He can have he can make it in life, and he, he can make. But you're it the so one much. who has to do it. Yeah, you're, you you're the one who has so to do it. Fix it. Yeah, he can make it so much in life that he might even be able to look after Sam's kids one day. Do you know what I mean? But like, yeah. we know who Sam is, and like, there's there's nothing there, you know, and. I think this again, like we, you know, we kind of got in trouble for actually. I did, don't think I did, but again, it was like people don't understand. Like some people don't understand grief, and like sometimes you just reach out to the only things you can imagine. And in this instance, it's it's his wife. You know, like well, mm. she starts it, but you know, it's it's grief, isn't it? Like these things happen. You know, it's, it's not beyond the realms, is it? I mean, it's nah. I mean, it like happens. you know, I, I, you, you know, part of this like. 
it, it you know, it part of this, it, it, it annoys me, not the scene, but just like the, the fact I, 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 I watch this and have to try and have to justify it. Where, whereas actually, it's just a movie, just watch it, just watch it and you don't enjoy have to it. Justify it, you know. No, it's, no, it's... I, I know. I know I don't. I know I don't. But you, uh, you these are the stars from prison and adulthood. But you feel you feel you have to. Do you know what I mean? Whereas, yeah. You know, you feel you have to. Um, but actually, like this is just like this is the grief of 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 losing his mum and, and stuff like that. And you know, as you can see, he breaks down in a minute because actually he doesn't. He's crying already. Doesn't know yeah. what to do. Anything. Hasn't said a word for days. Do you know what I mean? So he, he had that. He had to put that energy somewhere, and then he, he just realizes it's it's not it's not what he feels. You know, he feels suddenly the grief kicks in. He's like suddenly it hits him. It's, it's emotion. Like, yeah. I, I don't know how many people have you know. You you, you punch a window. You 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 run ten miles. You you, you punch the wall mm. and break your hand. You self there self are no, There are no rules. There are no it's rules to grief. You know, it always it affects know. people differently. You know that exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I mean and so like it's just you know and then she here makes the tough decision of like she's actually gonna go So there was a scene here. She's so she's so good here. Mm. When you can look me in the eye and say it's done, I'll think about coming back. That's fair, but that that's a fair mm -hmm. deal. Yeah, when I know he's me. Sam. Sam doesn't say it right now because obviously he's heartbroken of his mother. He's angry. He's just like there you go. But he's, got a, he's, got, he's got to stop all of this this is the thing isn't it this is why mm. he's got to stop it all and, and he doesn't know so there was a scene here I actually there's a scene here where he actually hangs himself I actually we shot a scene where he goes into the living room and there's rafters up there and he hangs himself in the living room and then he sees a picture of his family and changes his mind and he's swinging 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 and then it breaks and he falls down and everyone thought mm. it was too far the exec said to me, it's just too far. Like, it's just too far for him to try and hang himself. I was like, but he's lost everything. And they're like, it's too far. And so we took it out. Mm. So they thought everything that's happened was enough and we didn't need it. <clears throat> but this I can is see their wanted. point, but I think, you know, I mean, how do you feel about it now? Here we go. He's back. How do I feel about it? I feel like, I feel like, they were right, actually. I feel like mm. they were right. Yeah, I think so. I, I think like you hit the right, right notes. Yeah, I think you just got it right there, the balance. Yeah, because he's back now. You yeah. can see some of the remnants on the floor. But like, it yeah. comes the rage. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, you, the, the mum dying and the wife leaving. Yeah, mm. it's all built up now. And the, ne yeah. the next stage of grief, you know, it, it, again, you, you go through different stages, don't you? And this is the. Well, uh, that's what I said. They're now. all, they're all fucking dead now. They're all yeah, dead. They're dead. They're dead, man. As soon as his mother was thrown over that, band, that was it's it. Like, you are um, dead. Yeah. Every single person oh, was gone. If you pay attention at the beginning when he came in the gym, he saw the manager hiding a gun somewhere under here. And you kind of don't really get what it was about, but that's why he kind of goes in here. But we, we were kind of talking over it. But of course, you know, he's not as secretive as he, he's not as uh, quiet as he thinks he is. Uh, it, this is where it all ties into. One could argue it's a bit coincidental, of course, but it, it's a movie, right? So they all live in the same well, you area. Have you could have yeah, they, there in there. They all live in the same area. So you realize that the girl that Mooks had attacked, um, mm weeks before was actually this this the sister that so she is an escort and the mooks obviously beat her up and now they've realized it's the same person that they think he's working they think he's working for mooks but of course he's after mooks as well which is why they kind of end up working together in some way 
Peter Rich is asking uh, if the footage still exists, but I suppose it's with the uh, producer people, right? The uh, hanging scene. The foot of the hanging scene. Um, yeah. It might be on the DVD. I don't know. It might be on the DVD, PD Rich. Um, I'm, I'm not <laughs> these two looking at that. <laughs> uh, for God's sake, don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> the footage oh. might still exist. Uh, but that's the thing. Me and the wife watch crap like that. Like that's the thing you do. Start watching crap like that. Like, what the hell am I watching? Oh, my uh, and Dav Scottish Davros pizza. Uh, pineapple belongs on pizza, mate. Deal with no, it, it doesn't. <laughs> We're yes, not getting does. into this argument yeah, about no, pineapple I, I, pizza I can, again. I can deal with pineapple on pizza for sure. Good man. Good man. I can do with it. It's not my go-to, but I don't mind it. When I was younger, well, I if it's it. good enough for Noel Clark, it's good enough for you, Noel. <laughs> no. <laughs> but look, here's the husband still fibbing to his missus about the club card, right? Look at this. I love the contrast of these two compared to everything else. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> You don't play the trumpet straight up. What if I want to learn? <laughs> <laughs> She's not having any of it. <laughs> that is it smooth talking. <laughs> She's already sussed that he's lying, man. God's sake, shit. Like he's done. <laughs> She's she just man. looking at him like, oh, God, I can't. Face on her. She knows he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus! There's the hybrid again. <laughs> well, again, it was about showing, like you know, we could have had a really cool car, but like it was about showing they've moved on. They're not these. Yeah, little... that's it. He's a family man, so he's got a family car. Yeah. Some people say, "Can you make it like a Merc?" I said, "No, because it has to no. be sort of. They have to it be, has to be grounded." Around. They have yeah, to be yeah. cruising around sort of gangstery in a grounded family car. That's the juxtaposition of it all. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, they're middle-aged yeah. men. They're, they're middle-aged men or, or early middle-aged men. And actually, like, they're dealing with all these youngsters that they're not them anymore. Yeah. But of course, you know, we, you know, we hit, you know, we had the music, you know, we're still, we're still trying to be, we were still trying to be current and, you know, I love montage. This kind of well. ties in. This kind of ties in with the other two films. This kind of montage yeah. as well. <laughs> She's figured out there's no music sale there. She just looked at there's no music sale. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the whole point of like, I, I just love these sorts of montages because you're just telling all the little stories. The wife's with her yeah. mum. His wife's alone. These boys are partying like they got no cares in the world. The arsehole. Well, it puts everything into context. It puts everything into right. This is where everyone is at the moment, right? So everyone knows mm. where we're at. Yeah. So it's and you're a telling nice the story. So that arsehole was still trying to be an That's arsehole. Right. And then two of them just left <laughs> to go to the chip shop, you know? And he knows that they're setting him up. Look, you can see it in his face. I really like that with the, the bear with the salmon in the, the river and he's looking at it. And it's a nice little metaphor. I like that. It's pretty yeah. good. There we go. Pretty good. Him with his bus nose. <laughs> <laughs> so he spotted him now. <clears throat> You're right. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, <laughs> She's still on the blade and fob. He answered it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> As a secret sale. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, this poor guy. <laughs> He's just not having a good time of it. <laughs> now, if you, you saw Sam working, and Sam was working at the beginning of the of the of the film. You saw yeah. him working in one of these pits with a with a with a, a Middle Eastern guy, and actually, mm. this is a, a a moment I really like because 
you know, you think one thing's going to happen and then something else happens and you realise actually the person who was working with at the very beginning of the film was actually more uh, a bigger character. Mm. Nice uh, callback, it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> this bloody blade, look at it. <laughs> he thinks he's got the... <laughs> Look what you oh. bring to my family. <laughs> he's pretending he's a traffic warden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is brilliant, man. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. Oh, well, is... <laughs> the audience is dying. The audience was dying. Was dying, dying. And, then, and, then, and then you cut straight. Look, and then you cut, you cut the humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. It, it's all like 25 years. <laughs> 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 That's loyalty for you. Twenty five years. <laughs> There's your five years. There's your five years. <laughs> He's embarrassed as well as being duffed up. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. A little insult to Michael Bay there. I don't know the this guy. Is brilliant. I just like he, you know, he he literally ruined all my all my childhood toys and turned them into movies. <laughs> and, but but again, again, I go back to Russell and like it's like humor and humor mm. and darkness. He says I'll turn him into Savile The drunk white men will never tell. Like you know what I mean? Like it's 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 just a. Mm. The humour and the darkness, the humour and the darkness, like moments after each other, moments after each other, because actually it just, it, you know, sometimes people come out of cinema and you go, Phew, that was a roller coaster of emotion. You don't really realise what did it, but it's stuff like this. It's laughing one minute and then being like drawn in with <laughs> no chilli sauce, nothing. <laughs> and then being drawn in by darkness the next. Yeah. And this is a nice moment. Oh, he says, why do you hang out with them? Why do you behave like that? And she says, why did you when you were young? Well, yeah. Because Fair it's enough. like, it, but it's, it's such an important line and it resonates so much. Mm. Like, when you're young, you don't know why you do what you do. You just do it at a time. And like you said earlier, no, you kind of, you shout at your parents. You think your parents are, yeah. you, you think your parents are wrong and they're not wrong. <laughs> they're, they're not wrong. No. It takes you years to understand that, you know? Yeah. It does, actually. And this is a, a song by Mahalia, who's um, a huge star now. Huge, mm. huge star. And she plays the, the uh, Alyssa, the daughter. All right. Uh, she plays Alyssa's daughter, I mean. Yeah, get off. <laughs> oh, look, he spotted him. He's got to go out because he knows who he is. Hmm. And for those who don't know, that was Stormzy, who was in the film. Oh, right, yeah. It's a real who's who, this one, isn't it? Yeah, Drew is the... No, he's this, he's not answering his wife anymore. But she's just said... And this is this is the arsehole. Here's the arsehole here, right? The one I've set up. So you set this guy up from the beginning, this little guy up at the, from the beginning as being like the main arsehole in the crew. And <clears throat> you, know, uh, you do that. He's in a he's in a compromising position. <clears throat> again, you know, that's just life, isn't it? Like people like, you know, they they people like they clutch their pearls and they act shocked like that stuff doesn't happen, but we all know it does, right? Mm. But this the, this is why you set him up as an arsehole, right? So that when when this happens later on, everyone enjoys it. Boosh. 
Oh. Ow. Oh. Nail gun. Because <laughs> cause cause Henry had the tools in the boot. <laughs> nail guns, nail gun is handy. Yeah. And and here, oh, you know, you have Henry teaching the young not teaching, talking to the young guys. We don't write because we want to, we write because we have to. Boom. Oh. <laughs> I changed okay, my boom. mind. <laughs> I love this Ooh. scene, actually. Seriously, man, just answer him. So he talks about the brick to the back of the head. I was trying to like not be too preachy, but at the same time, show young people that <laughs> I won the car in the donut. Well, donuts, crispy, crispy. <laughs> Yeah, they're good donuts. <laughs> good donuts. Good donuts. <laughs> right. Brilliant. Cut the humor with the darkness. Humor with the darkness. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Nailed it. Nailed. Well, I mean, exactly. literally Trying nailed it. Young <laughs> yeah. yeah. Trying to show the young people that being like this doesn't doesn't work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just doesn't work. Oh <laughs> shit. <laughs> No, <laughs> she thinks it's a woman. <laughs> yeah. This is so good. I love these two. I oh, know they're brilliant. <clears throat> is it sinking in? Yeah, it's sinking in. It's sinking in. She's brilliant, man. She's brilliant. She deserves mm. everything that she she's achieving right now. That really does, really, really does, man. And and Arnold as well, Henry Henry, he he's doing mm. well as well. You know, and I think we all know Storms is doing well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that's that's oh, sold a few yeah, albums, sold a few albums here and there. Yeah, yeah just I mean. a couple. <clears throat> yeah, she's so good. Oh. So so this this scene, like kind of had to go back to handheld here because we only had like we only had like 10 minutes left to mm. shoot. So it was like, it was just like, put it on the shoulder, just get the shots. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It works. It, it works. Yeah, it's a nice sort of nod and wink to the, you know, the other two. To the other it's two. Like but the, the, to me, yeah, it stands out. Dogma it, style. It, 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 you know. it. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like reaching out to the younger generation. Yeah, some, people, yeah, yeah. some people really laughed at that. It wasn't for me. No, but I think so, I think it was. It, I, I laughed because it it was kind of sweet, you know. It's just like so yeah, trusting. A lot, laugh, yeah. a lot of people. Yeah. No, but it's also highlighting. You know, your man went through it, so he knows what this fella is going through, and he's trying to show him there's another yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's and showing he, he trust listens, as well, you know. I was like, he listens. Mm. Mm. Try the hammer away. There you go. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Because <laughs> he, he tells him the whole film, he's not his friend, he's his brother's friend. See, now this arsehole is calling the other arsehole and now realises mm. he's left on his own as well. Yep. 
And that's the, that's that the key with yeah. these things, man. That your mates when it's going well, and in the moment things are not going well, they're not there for you. They're not there. Mm-hmm. Now this this shot I love, not that one here. <clears throat> so here we got the whole crew, right? The sister, the brother, the the mate, all trying to get him back. But this shot in a minute is one take. When we go in the house, steady cam shot, one take. Nice. I love this song as well. So he's got the guy from the chip shop. He's got the brother, the sister, the other guy. Like he's got Henry. Henry's got no weapon, no. But I wanted a nice crew shot. That Henry. is a deadly shot, man. Mm. Here we go. This is one take. Here, watch. Doesn't cut. <clears throat> <laughs> You just say, uh, there you go. There's your first cut there. That's all one take, one shot. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, see ya. <laughs> 100%. Self preservation society. Yeah, Henry's the lookout. You know, like, it, it's interesting, you know, because, like, I watch this, I watch this now and I. I watch this now and I'm kind of like, yeah, do you know what? It, it's a bit, it's a bit violent. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. It's also, you know, when, when you're, when you're writing it, you know, I'm, 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 but I mean, you haven't shot anybody yet. Or, or, well, it, or it, it's a big set yet. piece. It's your but big also, set yeah, piece. It's what, the, this the is the payoff, reason. isn't it? You know, but the reason yeah. as well, like I said, is like, mm. like you have the first two films that were a certain level, right? And then you're kind of like, you got the first two films at a certain level, and then you kind of like you can't let the audience down, but at the same time, you got to raise the stakes. And I know what the audience like. I know what the audience want. I, these films are specific. Like you can't watch. You don't see any of this in Fast Girls. You don't see any of this in 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 like Stories Twenty Four. Like this is written for an audience that I know will be kind of like boggling their eyes and going telling their mates, mate, you got to go see that film for X, Y, and Z. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but then you, you you look at things like this, like this scene. For me, it's just like never in my life would I do this. Do you know what I mean? Mm. But you go in the movie, they killed Sam's mum. Yeah, you know what I mean. So like, what do you do? But like, that's just not ex- like in in real life, you just can't excuse that stuff. You know I mean? she deserved that though because she got set him up. Well, Sorry, yeah. in, in the movie, yeah, in terms of the mum. Yeah, it, I mean, in the movie, obviously, not obviously Daily, Daily just got hugs, which is deserved. Is deserved thoroughly. Wow. And he's got the bunny. <laughs> just that's that, that's silly, but you know. <laughs> I haven't watched this in ages, man. I need to get away. <laughs> You're enjoying it? Yeah, but as a, I am enjoying it. But as I said to you, like, you know, you kind of watch it and you go, wow, it, it, you know, there's a lot going on. It's, it, it, it's a lot going on. It's, it's violent. It's, you know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff mm. happening, but you kind of think like, you know, uh, this is what, this is what it's for. Like, again, you know, when I think about, if you look at this, they left him. Look, when you think about this genre and you think about all the other films, gangster films that are like this, no one bats an eyelid. But <clears throat> the moment I do something like this, it's like it's almost like there's acceptable violence as well. There's acceptable people that can do violence. But the moment, mm. again, the moment someone you don't like does it, it's a problem. <laughs> yeah, well. In 10, 20 years time, people will be looking back at this very differently, I think. No, oh, don't take the knife out. Oh, I'll take, take, no, take the knife out. He took, took the phone. I love this. Get out, get out quick. <laughs> oh, this <is> one. <clears throat> you didn't get to cut oh. me, bitch. You didn't get to cut me. Mate, that, that, listen, 
I can't t I can't tell you like the, the irony of that scene there. I can't tell you. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> I like the lighting in this um, police. Scene. Yeah. You know, <clears throat> the way it shines off the head and the eyes and all that kind of stuff. It's almost noirish. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you've got a lot of muted blues and greys and all this, including the costumes as well. I just need a, I just need a window mm. with a, a blind on there and it'll be like... <laughs> this is your last chance. <laughs> May I call I love back? Yeah, I love ramping as well, like you know, speeding things up and showing like the, the, the passage of time. I know it's an old technique, but I kind of like it. It's a classic. <laughs> but it's, 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 wrong. it's like I wouldn't do it in all films, you know what I mean? It suits this mm. film. Mm. That's it, you don't overdo it. Yeah. <laughs> How you want to do this? I mean, you know, the audience, this film actually made more than the other two put together. Um, and I think the audience just really resonated with, they just resonate with it. Like that that character and, and sort of the, <clears throat> the sort of the, you know, the same, same way they resonate with Top Boy. Like there are people that complain mm. about Top Boy, you know, drugs, this, that, and the other. Yeah, like it's not always cool that it's drug dealer shows, but it's a good show. You know what I mean? People love it. Yeah. yeah. People, people resonate with it. You know what I mean? And these films are, are the same. I think my, my stuff is probably, I don't know. Top Boy is pretty violent. I don't know which is more extreme, but I think, you know, when you, when you go to the cinemas, you know, my stuff really pushes the envelope, but we make sure, we make sure that they, the BBFC, when they look at them, they really kind of, um, they really kind of uh, scrutinize them. And we always make sure we get a 15 rating. We just mm. really tread mm. the line. Because like, you look at this film and you're like, well, how is this not an 18? But Yeah, I was, I, I, yeah surprised. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. But, <laughs> you know, I study the guidelines very carefully. Mm. Mm. So, you know what, we know what we can get on a 15 and we know what we can get in an 18 and, <clears throat> and make sure that it's a, it's a 15. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and that's, that's something I think a lot of people don't do. There's a lot of films that are 18s and you think the moment you... The moment you make your film an 18, you're losing like millions in the box office. Millions. And that's gonna the thing, they want to get it, they want to make it 18. So, because they, they want like the credibility, don't they? So, you know, mm. I, I think that's self sacrificing for the integrity of the yeah, piece. I, mind, I, you know? I, don't, I don't think so anymore because, like I said, you can make an 18. You can make, mm. like, this is basically an 18, but we just done it in a smart way. So, we've got a 15 rating. Yeah. It's more accessible that way as well. Yeah. And you're you're actually getting to the people it matters to most, you know, like that age group. Yeah, because that's where it resonates. Really, I just, clear, that's, the, I that's the age group that it resonates with most for sure. You know what I mean? And they, you know, but also what you have to look at is like if you were 15 when the first film came out, mm. you were you were 31 when this one came out. So this one would resonate with you because actually, you know, you've grown up with the movies. You're now paying yeah. mortgages, or if, if you're lucky, you're paying a mortgage. If you're not lucky, you're still renting. You may have kids. You, you know what I mean? So, like, the whole yeah. the whole dynamic shifts where you can say... Grows, grows with these characters, yeah. I've grown up with these characters. Do you know what I mean? And that was that was kind of the point. I don't know why... He, mm. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to shoot. I was going to say, I don't know why he threw the gun away there, but he doesn't want to shoot him. Now, we had to shoot this fight in one night. <laughs> and we actually... That must be tiring. <laughs> <clears throat> Mate, we actually had to use a pickup day. I think it was the last day, and we had to use a pickup day because the day we went to shoot it before, we didn't have the right lighting and the location wasn't uh, good. Enough. Oh. We basically lost the day, and we had to use a pickup day to shoot this in one night and make sure we uh. got the make sure we got the lighting right and make sure we got the location looking as 
as good as we could. That's a good fight. Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was decent, that fight. Boof. Yeah, he doesn't want to... He doesn't oh. want to... He doesn't want to shoot anyone. And this is symptomatic of him the whole last two movies. He's been trying to get out of it, you know? Yeah. It's quite symbolic that he just, you know, takes the he's rounds out. He's just trying yeah. to get away from it. That's all he's wanted to do. Like, you know, he did put himself in it in the first movie, but since that point, he's trying to show people, like, I've changed. I just want to be out of it. And they won't let him. You know? I think everyone knew that I wasn't going to get shot there, but you, you, mm. you just you build the tension with the music. That's good. That's really good. Nice setup, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. But this is the moment you get where even Curtis sort of understands, you know, he tells him where he tells him where Mooks is, where Daly is. You know what I mean? As his last, yeah. as his last act. You know what I mean? Like, I kind of, I'm a sucker for happy endings. If I'm honest, it, people might yeah. not believe. Because, <laughs> people might not believe That's that fair. because, and I'm a sucker for redemption. And I think Curtis has been a vile character throughout the films, but I thought like with his last moment, redemption, you know, yeah. redemption, telling where the real baddie is, who's who set this all up. You know what I mean? Well, he's dead because of him. <laughs> like, really? If you think. Yeah, but if you know, uh, I can't you know, wait for this little wanker to get his oh, come yeah. up and stuff. If oh. you notice, right? Here's the interesting thing: Sam <clears throat> has not killed anyone. Yeah, he killed Mooks. The police shot Curtis, mm -hmm. and you're going to see what's happened here. All he's done is beat up that kid and nail gun the other guy who who deserved it. <clears throat> So this scene here, if, yeah, go on, sorry. if you look at the black background, we really messed up here. So when we shot this scene, it wasn't dark enough in the background. So you could see that the, that the things that were supposed to be there weren't really there. Mm -hmm. Problem, because they're supposed to be there the whole time, which you'll notice in a minute. We had to, in the edit, we had to literally frame around me and darken it in the edit in the grade as well to really ah, it's, it's not quite a v effect it's not visual effects but it's sort of like a really really masking masking like zoom in pixel 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 around and make it you can yeah. kind of see it there look you can kind of see it. i'm like sort of cut out sort of very oh, very baby. very subtly very, yeah. Very subtly. yeah masking because when we shot it, when we shot we didn't want the things behind there standing there the whole time but then mm. <laughs> but yeah, I see why. <laughs> yeah. and then of course Sam doesn't do this either <laughs> takes the money I love that <laughs> that is fucking so you're, dead, yes. says, you're nothing without your heavies yeah <laughs> Brilliant. Oof. That's satisfying. Just brilliant. Yeah. And as I said, I'm a sucker of a happy ending. So, you know, he gives them all like quarter of a million each or half a million each or whatever it was. <laughs> Look in the bin. Look in the bins, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rival gangster gets it. And it's nice, wrapped up nicely in the papers. Rival gangsters found dead. <laughs> <laughs> <His face>. <laughs> <laughs> well, imagine that. <laughs> oh, half a mil, you can buy a trumpet mil. with that money. <laughs> half a mil. Look at everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I love the connections, there, mate. As I said, I don't know why I'm just a sucker for happy endings, man. <laughs> That's it. I'd be doing the same. I'd be dancing half over the place. Half a mil, half a mil cash, man. Do you imagine that? Yes, please. You know I mean? uh, mind. Just there, like. <laughs> And it's such a pretty colour, those 50s, you know. <laughs> <clears throat> and I like this. I think more people should have this conversation. And I think, you know, it's not about always being defensive. It's a, or not about always being sort of, I'm better than, or I wasn't wrong. It's just be like, I'm flawed, mate. I'm flawed. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's weird because the, the boy is supposed to be the older kid because he was with Lexi. <laughs> he looks younger than the girl. <laughs> mm. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> he's all at the drama done and then he just... Then he's not sure because the police are coming so he thinks, actually, I'm about to get nicked. But they're here for something else. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> That's a good say, no. Look at the yeah. face on the man. Like, yeah. uh, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Just a reminder. Just a reminder. Stay on the straight and narrow. Yeah, hundred percent. Just a reminder. Also, he's his mate, you know. Yeah, yeah, he's looked out for him. Cut him a good deal. <laughs> there you go. It's tied up in a pretty bow. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to see you again, except. Yeah. <laughs> she said peanut uh peanut butter ice cream. Peanut, 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 peanut pineapple punch. <laughs> again, again, like again, this goes back to I just like a happy ending, mate. I, I just kind of no, want no. the western sort of walking into the sunset. You know, a lot of these projects end up with a sort of ending where uh, they end up with the ending that you would expect where you know the hero ends up dying because it's a lesson to all those that kind of well, you, you, you kind of teased that, didn't you, in, in that final yeah. showdown? But, you know... And, and you see that he says... He did it good. He looks at his wife and says, it's done. And that was harking back to what she said to him earlier, you know? About when yeah, you can... Look your mind say, you know? Well, a lot That's good. I like, I like loving, that. A lot of people are loving your commentary, by the way. Oh, sweet, man. I mean, I just... I enjoy making... I enjoy... Enjoy... Enjoyed making... Um, you know, making making films, man, and I, you know, this trilogy is, I mean, it treads a line. Like, don't get me wrong, like it treads a line. Always has done from the very first film. I remember the, some of the newspapers wanted the first film banned. Do you know what I mean? It yeah. treads a line. They all do, but at the, at the end of the day, they resonate with people so much that it kind of. It's, it's well, no matter how, how good the films are or how violent they are or how gratuitous, inverted commas, they are, it, it will only ever be a close approximation to what actually goes on. You know, that that's the real violence, the real gratuitous that's shit right. that goes down. And, uh, it, right. You can't even get close to that, but this is as close as you can get, I think. That's without, right. Society you know, informs right. the movies, you know what I mean? Not yeah, the other exactly. You know, exactly. People complain about that. People complain about the brothel in this scene. It's like, well, great, go shut down the brothel on Old Compton Street. It's right there. Go yeah, shut it down. Exactly. Yeah. You're you know so I mean? concerned. Go, go and go and do it. Yeah. Yeah. You're no, so I see. The problem is, it's that in movies, it's there for everybody to see. It's being highlighted. People know that it's there, but they kind of just sweep it under the carpet. But when it's in front of their eyes on screen, then you know, it's like, oh no, we can't have that. It's almost like it's almost like. <laughs> 
it's almost like it's my fault. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like all the brothels in like in in the country are, are my fault because I because I, I put it in the film. Do you know what I mean? That's kind of how it how mm. people always kind of, not, not always how a lot of the people that you know come at me for this stuff. That's how it is. It's like well. That is disgraceful. I was like, yeah, it is disgraceful. You're right. But it's disgraceful because it happens in real life. And actually, mm. there's one about 20 yards from the, the private club you go to every day. So why don't you go yeah. stand outside that one and get it shut down? And if there's none in the real life, then I can't write about them in the movies. Yeah. That's True. It. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's what movies do. As you said, they highlight society and... Well, it holds up a mirror. To you, yeah. yeah. It holds up a mirror. Not only to society, but to yourself as well, in your place in society. And if you're yeah. ignoring these issues, it, it, I mean, you might not have the same background as Noel here, but you're leaving the same world, but mm, you're yeah. you're maybe not looking at it the same way or, or understanding it in a particular way, or you just don't even acknowledge it exists. So you turn a blind eye to it, and this forces mm. you to... to to look at society and yourself and your attitude towards what's actually going on, you know. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I think, I think everybody, everybody knows, everybody knows somebody who is uh, that person that you can't help. Everybody yeah, yeah, knows yeah. Oh, someone God, no. who's yeah. been in and out yeah. of institutions or jail or rehab. Everybody knows someone who's, you know, cousins. Uh, mm -hmm. what like every, like everybody. Do you know what I mean? And so it is like. You know, just being in a situation uh, at the time, being in a, a, a in a having a chance to 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 put it on screen. You mm. know, I had a chance to put it That's on it. screen. You know, and you know, I don't always. You know, I I, I would love to um. I would love to um. Carry that on. It's interesting. Look at the last thing to the leeches. Your leeching days are coming to an end. Well, there you go. I mean. <laughs> I was in my, in my special thanks. You know wow. what I mean? But interesting. Yeah. <clears throat> Great trilogy. But you've made other movies as well. Um, yeah. We should take a few a look at some of them if you want. Um, sometime. Do that, man, um, if, if you want to. You know, Fast Girls will be a good one. Fast Girls right, will be a good one. Well, we'll do that next if you want. It. That, that's fair enough. I'll do them all. Right. I'm actually enjoying uh, this. A lot of people in the chat. <laughs> Or enjoying it. Actually, we don't have you, a what kind of swindler a, are you? You managed to swindle me to come onto these screen. How have you managed that? <laughs> <laughs> Noel's listen, uh, charm and uh good looks. <laughs> listen, as I listen, as I as I said, look, you love you, 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 you can come here, you can relax and you can talk as, as much as you want, Noel. You have support be here, yourself. So, you know, yeah. and yeah, be yeah. yourself. So I mean, like, yeah. Well, I mean, if you do, I'm not forcing you to. We, we can talk. No, about man, I'm it happy off, to. Off. Fast goes a bit we can talk about it off screen, off screen. But yeah, <laughs> if you if you'd like to do that one, we'll do that one next. Um, that'll be absolutely uh, fantastic. Uh, great movie, great camera work. Says real super doctor. Brilliant. Oh, thank, yeah. you. thank you. Thank um, you. Yeah. Does anybody? Uh, that, that's my well, favorite one of the trilogy. Yeah. That one. I think it's the yeah. best one. I'm really proud of yeah. the 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 directing in 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 this one. I think you know. I think, yeah. Uh, I would love to do a film that's sort of. I mean, I like this sort of film, you know. But I would yeah. I would love to do a film like that's karma. Like I love, you know. I tell you, one of my favorite films. People don't know this is Amelie. Like consistently, my missus will tell you. I've, I've said this since the day that film came out. It's one of my favorite films. <laughs> one day I'd love to do a film like that. <laughs> that's just that's just sweet. Do you know what I mean? But in terms yeah. of like. In terms of like this stuff, I, I do love this stuff. I do love grabbing an audience. I do love turning, I loved turning Sam into, I loved Sam being a bad guy. And then you watch the second film and by the second film, when he bursts out of that window, like when he bursts yeah. out, you're coming, come on Sam. And then you're like, wait a second, why am I cheering for this guy? And you don't even realize, you don't even realize that you've fallen in love with him throughout the arc of the movie. Yeah. And then in this film, you're just you're just supporting him. I, I love doing that sort of. I, I love doing that sort of stuff. You know, what I mean, I love to kind of just take characters, especially flawed characters, and just highlight that everyone's flawed. Like, really, I just I just like it because everyone is. You know, I got Man. friends who have long, long. I mean, I don't want to tell you what they've done, but 
I got friends that surf. Like, let me put it to you this way. I know I've got mates of mine that surf, got sentenced to 25. Like, that should tell wow. you. And have when we were teenagers and have come out and have the have kids and jobs and, and doing well in their life. And I'm so proud of them because the point that's the point about everything. It's like people change. Yeah. People are flawed. And that's what these films are about. That's what these films have always been about, mm. about this flawed guy. Yeah, because you see his journey all the way through each movie. Because in the first movie, you're not a fan of Sam, <laughs> no, as no, you said, no, you know, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> not, not, not a fan of him at all. But then, second, <laughs> second movie, as you said yourself, there's a little bit, and then you're like, oh yeah, I like Sam. And then by the third movie, but when all that shit happens, his mother and all, he's yeah. there trying to drag him in, and then yeah. he gets to that point, you're on board with him. You're yeah. on board and with him. You know, everybody to... just yeah. You still want to slap him upside the head when he goes off the, the that broad, of but then of course. But you know, you, <laughs> yeah. firstly, well, you're flawed, and secondly, would you have said no to that? <laughs> but it's relatable. I think a lot of guys will find themselves in you know similar situations. You know, they they, they wish maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's actually true. You know, you know, that's I, true. Let's be honest about it. You'd have to be really. Best, I think that's the best film of the three. Although a lot of yeah. people don't, a lot of people wouldn't, don't see it and don't don't think it because the first one has the nostalgia. Like the first yeah. one has so much nostalgia. It was the first. It was. It, it's that nostalgia can almost for some people means it will never be beaten, right? But in terms of the second one, as well, man, is for me is the best movie, like story within mm. within the ninety minutes. But this one is a complete package: movie, yeah. direction, vis like visuals. This is the best one. It's it's definitely the most mature out of the three, and I mean mature not in the sense just the writing and the performances and whatnot, but uh, it, it definitely in 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 the production style, the direction. Um, uh, yeah, and even in some of the performances and and and, and the, the humor you've injected into it really worked. And that juxtaposition with the violence, it, it it was it was very very comical, but also very grounded. You know, it, you can yeah. believe. But it that's, in all, it's not that's in all that's in all three because, because you know Russell. Yeah. Obviously, I met Russell. You know, two thousand we shot mm. shot two thousand and four, and Kid Otto didn't come out till Kid Otto came out like a few months before Doctor Who or vice versa, I forget. Um, but like I said, all of that's from, all of that's from, from not all of it's from Russell. Like he does not respond to mm. for my whole career. And I, you know, I probably shouldn't keep mentioning his name before someone starts making a thing of it. But the, the point being is like, all of that, that I remember him vividly just telling me that, like just always undercut mm. the, the, the darkness with humor and always like sort of tinge the humor with darkness. Not always, but it's a good, it's well, a good you're talking thing. I, I, think, I think here you nailed it. You, here, I think it was, you, you've clearly gone through a process. You've you've gone through these these years of, of evolving through your that process. But I think here you really nailed that. Um, and literally in the, the sense of the nail gun, but like you, you really, really, I think, you polished it. You got to the point where it was just absolutely. Yeah, each movie really was a learning curve, basically. You can see it. The first movie is kind of raw. Let's be out. It's raw and it's it's unique. And by the time you get to the second one, then he's a bit more. He has, he's added the shots. Do you remember we kept talking about the camera angles and and stuff oh like? God. So you kept you, you kept adding you kept adding layers and layers to each one. By the time you got to the third one, and as you said. It's more polished. You've you've got all your Copy experiences. Your you've put yeah. them all together, mm -hmm. and obviously yeah. you've matured. Jordan those movies as well yourself as a person, and you've changed Jordan and that you time know what as well. Combination. You know what the culmination of all of it was: the, the darkness, the humor, the action mm -hmm. was bulletproof. Yeah, that was that was the culmination of everything of the the yeah. whole journey. Bulletproof does not exist without these movies because you're mm. taking those two regular guys, those street guys, you know, mm. and you're kind of the action and the darkness with the humor. Like it all, you know, all of it sort of came to that. That was the epitome of everything that was was being built, you know, because with all due respect to everyone else, involved, 
the combination. With all due respect to everyone else involved in that, a lot of that sort of humour and stuff is directly stuff that comes from, you know, I'm the sort of one that is kind of a bit loony that goes, oh, why don't we, why don't we do this here? They go, no, that's not gonna, that's that's a bit off, that's a bit off kilter. And I go, yeah, but I'm like, Mel, I'm like, wouldn't it be great? Do you know what I mean? And then you know, yeah. it has to go up to. And the execs go, well, I don't know. And I'm like, please, let's do it. And they agree. And then it works. And I'm like, okay, that, that kind of works. Do you know what I mean? It's like that sort of, that comes directly from, from here, you know. And Nick was great. And Ash is great. And everyone brought their, brought their bits to it. But that mm. particular ingredient is directly, you know, you can trace the line. If you trace the yeah. line of the stuff or and Nick Love bought, you know, you trace the like the heritage. That particular ingredient is that's my humor. That's that's what I do. That's mm. my sort of that's that my works, sort of thing. Man. And I was about to literally, I was about to direct the uh, next season as well. That was going to be. I was really looking forward to that. I was literally about to direct the first block of the the the, the new season of Bulletproof when when everything happened. So that you know, I was really looking forward to that. Um, so that would have I would have really pulled it in you know yeah there. but obviously obviously that didn't happen so <laughs> you know here we are um, we, we was that. robbed <laughs> yeah was robbed. Me, me. Yeah. yeah well look mm. the truth the truth That's will awesome. come out in the end as you know what i mean and i just yeah. i just this, this this whole situation annoys me uh we've been seeing it recently with sophia as well um, you know, someone just has to write something up on the internet oh, uh, man, on Twitter man. and then they get piled on and it's yes. it's I, I'm getting sick and tired of it all now at this stage, man. I've had it for five years myself. My wife was targeted as well as uh mm. it's just think, you just can't think, have an opinion, a different opinion anymore. You just can't have an opinion on anything anymore. That's that's the day. It doesn't matter no. what it is. If you no, have no. a different opinion to someone else, it's it's game over. It's yeah. I think the, retweet. I think the laws, to be honest, like people what? need to be when do the laws need to change. When people do that, it needs to be like uh, uh, the pylons need to. They be need like to, criminal. yeah. They need to be held accountable. You know, 100%. it's just it's not good enough. You know, just to go. Oh well, you know, bury it under the carpet. Oh, it was just a mistake because I never admit they're wrong anyway for a start. But you know, yeah. maybe if they were held accountable, maybe they would show yeah. a bit more humility. The media know? should be held accountable as well, though. I don't know oh, how the media yeah. can actually print. Yeah, print. I'm mean, not going into details, right? But an article can print absolute bullshit, right, about someone and throw it out there. How is there no, law, you know what I mean, law in place there? Yeah, the re- in place there to, prevent to prevent that from happening. To prevent that happening until it, there's it. an actual investigation done. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. you know what? There's a certain law they're protected by, which is which is interesting. But that's a different conversation. Let's talk mm. about movies. Let's. Yeah. Thank you for for doing yeah. these ones. Let's do fast girls when we can, because uh, I I wrote that with um with Jay Basu and there's a couple of other people that did bits, but Jay Basu and I were the ones like busting our asses in his apartment, writing that. And it was produced by Damien, um, who produced these as well. Uh, one of the producers of these as well. So, you know, I, I'd love to do that at some point. You know, Would you mean? do that now? Uh, how about turning series for Bulletproof into a novel? Would you ever do consider that like I that? Have, I don't have the rights to it. Like the, you, the way these things oh. work, you know, perception is everything right but you know right. certain companies take all your rights and they they got the rights i couldn't turn that into a book if i wanted to wow you know I mean? I that's for it you know it's the way it works man it's the way it works um so yeah no chance of that but you know i'm doing my i'm, I'm writing some other stuff so let's see what happens down the line down the line but great guys yeah thank you hopefully so no no problem look it's always a pleasure having you on the whole um Obviously, we're coming up to the Christmas now, so it's going to be uh, very busy for everybody. So I'll ask you before we leave, are you all set for Christmas? Or are you still got bits and bobs to do? I'm set, man. I mean, I mean, to be honest, man, I don't, it's just, you know, me and my missus, we just, just the kids, man. We don't really, like, we don't really, you know, go out or uh, go all out yeah. on, on each other. Well, we, we, we've been doing that for years, mate. It's just the kids now, man. We've got, we've got mm. four of them, so. It's just we make sure they're sorted out, and you know that uh, that 
Father Christmas comes 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 for the, comes for the younger ones. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. it gets sorted out. And yeah, but I I think I think I'm done, mate. I don't need to rush out. You know, grab some stuff for Mumsy and and for her family. But other than that, mate, I'm done. I'm looking forward to. Well, it's not like I've been busting my ass working, but I've still been busting my ass working here. If you know what I mean. But I'm yeah. looking forward. To, I'm looking forward to just. The kids are not in school, you know what I mean? Everyone here, I'm just looking forward to it. Yeah, 100%. So who's the one that does, who's the one that preps the kit Christmas dinner in your house? Is it you or the missus? No, it's, I, I would be a liar if I told you it was me. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> I would be a liar. So me. Do you know what I mean? No, no, it, it won't be me. But I think we're, I think we're going to uh, go somewhere. So nice. we, we, won't, we won't have to, to, to do it this year. You know what I mean? Well, I hope you guys are, are going to have a good one as well, mate. Merry Christmas to everyone. Or as they say now, because I'm not sure we can say Merry Christmas. I say it because so I, I don't give a damn, right? It's Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's Merry Christmas, Noel. Don't mind Happy everybody holidays. else. Happy holidays. Yeah, Happy yeah. holidays. That, 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 that just me. <laughs> I don't know what, what's up with not being allowed to say Merry. Do you know what? We've lost the plot in society. One day we'll look back on all of this. We won't be laughing. Some of us won't be laughing. Of course, because a lot of lives and people's yeah. careers have been bloody bashed. It, it's look, we we'll leave on a positive note anyway. Listen, the rest of you is in the chat. Enjoys our Christmas, Noel. You enjoy our Christmas as yeah, well, and we'll organise uh, that watch along as when everybody is. Yeah, that's a real nice feel good movie as well. So that'll be a good one. That'll be a good one yeah. too. Yeah. We'll do that. We'll definitely do that. It'll probably we don't know when, so we're not gonna say when but more than likely it'll be probably in the new year folks but you never know you never know we're not putting any pressure we're all busy because of christmas but we'll organize it but uh yeah do you want to do your show because you've got a youtube channel now you me no i mean yeah i i, I, I do but i don't I, there's a channel which is my channel it is my channel and i sort of put on some of my videos from instagram but i, I wouldn't say i have a youtube channel but please do join it <laughs> Please do join it. But also, you know, follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter. It's just Noel Clark on, on all of that stuff. And mm. Instagram's got some videos in there. There's a good one on there today, actually, about... Uh, well, go go have a look at it. I, I won't tell you what it's about. There's a good one on there. And, uh, uh, yeah, I'm just... It's just my name on on, on most things that, that I have. So... Yeah, and they're yeah. all in the link description here on this live stream. So, guys, some people are asking in the chat... Go into the link description right there. They're all there. His Facebook, his Instagram, his YouTube channel, and Twitter. All there. Everything. All there. Thank you. Including Thanks, the movie. If you haven't seen it, you can rent and buy it as well. Anyway, no, listen, you enjoy our Christmas, mate. Um, and I'll uh, talk to you very soon. Listen, another have cracking some stream. Peanut butter ice cream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah and his, I don't know, man. Use and his, I just can't get it. With the peanut butter thing, that maybe I don't know. Missing up, is American, so <laughs> everything. See you later, and all. Have a good one, pal. Yeah, take care, guys. Cheers. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Right. Uh, for the rest of us, we're gonna we're gonna end as well. Uh, but if you haven't subscribed to his YouTube channel, he does have one. He's thrown up of it, as he said. He has a video up there, so go and check it out. And he has video on his instagram so check that out as well we will set as we said we will organize uh something uh, again uh and uh yeah i hope you have enjoyed so lee if you want to do your social media so we'll leave it there and we'll call it a night sure thing uh um, well you, you can check out my uh alt channel which is uh order Ed audio visual which is all my uh cgi stuff and music and things i, I will be trying to up Date that some stuff because I haven't really done much with it uh, lately. But um, uh, I, I am on Twitter, um, but not under my old account. I'm still uh, banned from that until uh, Elon Musk pulls his finger out. But you can find me at uh, at the problem being um, on Twitter and on Instagram as well. So um, that's all with all the visual on there. And as you all probably predicted. Him and uh, cultivating media and corporate have been getting it on over <laughs> electronics again. I mean, they just can't, they're, they're two kids, but we will have the two kids on Friday. 
So uh, Lee and uh, Cultivated Media will be on, and of course they'll be banging on about their electronics. But there you go. Uh, we'll see who wins this one. Yeah, yeah, Sony does. Anyway, we'll leave it there, folks. Thank you, everybody in the chat that came and joined us tonight. We really do appreciate all the support. We will see you all very soon. Uh, until then, good night, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye. Cheers. Bye.